Dogs is win. Thank you very much, Riff. We'll be thinking about robbing some trains a little bit later. <laughs> oh, uh, Sheriff, quick shot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about this matchup. Uh, the first thing that I really want to touch on is the, the, the level 2 1v1, where Zara Zero playing Shen was able to take out Mazarin's Ari. It was something that I did not expect coming, coming and I know it was a bit unique. Nobody expects the <laughs> Doran Shield Shen level 2 <laughs> kill. That's why it worked. Hey, I wish we got to see more of it, but I think that was just Zoro Zero using creep waves there's, to his advantage. There's been a lot of kills on, on that top lane early today. Like a lot of, a lot of stuff. Sure. A lot of people hiding, doing unexpected stuff. So maybe. I wonder what Fnatic is going to do with that. Maybe just put five people in that brush. Why not? <laughs> yes. who, who knows? You know, it's not like they would do that. You know, they Ever. haven't done that before. Um, the other thing that I, I want to talk on is uh, we've seen Tab sitting in the mid lane for a little while. And in the first 10 to 15 minutes, his greed maybe costing him. There was a couple of fights that broke out and Tab's kept chasing mm -hmm. when maybe he should have backed off. It gave away a couple of kills and, and kept... Uh, gaming gear pretty even with him in the early stages of the game. Yeah, he definitely did get a little bit ahead of himself. He wanted to get those early kills on Vayne to start snowballing, get his uh, blade really early, but it did cost his team early, so they had to wait a bit longer. That being said, I did like the composition of the Shen plus Vi and combined with two sort of mobile assassins. When Vi goes in with Shen, she splits apart the other team, and that opens them up for Vayne to be able to chase people down later. Kassadin does pretty similar things, so it did work out really well for them in the end. And Shen Vi is something I see a lot in champions, actually, because the combination just makes it so Vi, was, Vi is 100% going to get on a target, and then when Shen ulties onto them, it's a guaranteed like taunt and two people on a squishy champion. Yeah, people talk about the ball delivery systems with Orianna, but a ninja delivery system is even <laughs> more deadly. Yep. We always call that a piggyback ride Shen. When it, whenever it was <laughs> Shen Nocturne back in the days, it was the same, like, Nocturne ulties get a Shen instantly, lands instant taunt. Uh -huh. Requires a lot of synergy, but I really like the composition. I don't... I, I think the, both teams had a really nice composition, though. Jarvan with uh, Zed and Ari together works mm -hmm. really well as well. Although, it, just, it was up to Lemon Dogs to stay even early and then just scale better in, into the late game. Cassidy becomes such a threat, backs up from, back up from Shen. A lot of card control coming out from Shen and Vi. And then you have Vayne just outscaling Corky. You could really notice that in the fights. They would fight in the beginning, fight would disrupt, and then Vayne would clean house. Well, and you know, once Shen gets tanky enough too, if you can't kill him in a, a rotation from an assassin, you're you're in pretty big trouble right there. Yep. So. so one of the things I want to touch on uh, before we move on to our next game was that both of these teams, for lack of a better word, lacked a little bit of initiative in this game. We've been seeing that, you know, for many other teams that have beaten gaming gear, they have tended to get ahead early and, and through making plays. Lemon Dogs, they were a slower team in the EU LCS. I mean, they had the ability to play early, but we did see them playing patiently and controlled and whatnot. And we've seen it again here. It could be uh, part of the reason they didn't do quite so well against some of the other teams, but what was your take on, on the slower pace of the game, especially with some focus on the Lemon Dogs side? Well, I think that's the big difference between like a really great team and just like a good team. Obviously, every team here is world class. That's why they made it here. But like a team like SK Telecom, they don't have hesitation. Like I said before, they if they see a play that they can make, they're they're just gonna do it immediately without even thinking about it. And I feel like a, a, a team that's willing to make those plays gets in that like the minds of their opponents. And not only that, you can snowball advantages so much quicker and end the game so much faster. Could be a bit of a mindset issue as well. If you're coming in into the group as one of not favors, but say dark horses like Lemon Dogs did, comparing to uh, gaming here who had nothing to lose and only something to win, you, you can get a little scared. If you have a, like, a negative winning record already, you probably just wanna, you want that one win to at least go home with a, with a, with a, a little bit of respect for yourself. And, and that's why maybe they would slow down the progress and know that they can take it late game 100%. And yeah, that makes the victory be a little less convincing, but a lot more secure. I think that really comes back full circle to the tabs early plays too. He got slapped down when he went for the early aggression. That will tame your pretty much your whole team for the early game and they'll play a bit slower after that. Well, we'll have to see how that loss is gonna affect the standings after our fourth match of the day. As we've highlighted already, OMG and SKT still sitting